إني ألقى الإيناس في صومي وصلاتي ودعائي للرحمن وجميع الطاعات do you know what? Let me tell you something. I do like the way you conduct yourself. A lot of the time, yeah. I've learned from you, I have to say. You're going to have to be about that camera can't cope with your height. No, 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 I've learned from you, genuinely. Do you know that? I'll tell you what I've learned from, right? I've watched the one or two videos from you, um, and you've got a beautiful concept that has emerged from your religion, uh, and that you've absorbed yourself as a personality. So I feel that if Muslims absorb it, yeah. and if Christians absorb it, and if atheists absorb it, the world will be a better place. Do you know what that is? No, I don't know. I'll tell you. Let me see what it is. No, no, let me see what it is. You mean of some sense? I'll wait. Go on. What it is? No, genuinely speaking. No, no, seriously. No, seriously. You have to. I don't need the pump, by the way. Just tell me. No, no, no. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what it is. It's this idea of taking the ego out of yourself, yeah? yeah. And you always remind yourself, yeah. like, it's not about me. You always say, it's a, you have to always demolish your ego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think a message like that is a beautiful message, genuinely. So I, I think we a, have a hadith. The truth appeals to everyone, you know? It's true, I agree. Do you know, I think that we have a hadith that says, if you humble yourself to God, right. Allah will raise you in ranks. Right. You see what I'm saying? Very similar. Our principle job. Anybody who calls themselves high will never be high. Yeah. Those that call themselves the lowest, they'll be the highest. It's interesting. And that's why the guru called himself is God's or something like that? Yeah, he said, yeah, he said, yeah. yeah. Who's going to get rid of the Yeah. So the, the it's in the Guru Granth Sahib, but the Guru didn't say it. But yes. Yeah. But, but he did say it, actually, and Guru Granth Sahib said it in Shabbat Shab 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 That's right. Cool. Now, I wanted to actually ask you, look, I want to be, because because of your beautiful mannerism, and I know that we can have a decent conversation, yeah. I wanted to genuinely speak to you about something I believe in, yeah? Go ahead. I personally believe Islam is the truth, yeah? Yeah, yeah, fair enough. And you believe Sikhism is the truth? 100%. And I remember watching a video of yours, where you said that those Sikhs, and there are lots of Sikhs who do say this, that say that all of the religions are true, those Sikhs are not being representative of the true GGS, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And I really respect and admire your courage, yeah, and your straightforwardness yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in saying that, because that makes this conversation a lot easier. Do you see what sure, I mean? Sure. The first thing I want to say to you is that when you look at the GGS, which I have done, I've looked at the GGS, okay. you do find a lot of beautiful philosophies, yeah? We shouldn't be completely dismissive of everything that we read. So that's my first message, because we had an, a, a scholar called Imam Malik, he said something beautiful, he said, Kullu insan minhu wa yuraddu alayhi. He said that every, illa, uh, sahab al -qabr. He said that every human being, yeah. you can take something from them, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you can reject something from them, yeah. except, except for the Prophet Muhammad, and he pointed at him, because he is obviously revealed has divine inspiration. Which, so, what I was going to say to you... We're in a hurry, so if you can... No, 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 I'll, so I'll get to your point. Now, the thing is, <laughs> to my point, sorry. What I was going to say to you is this, yeah? Despite all of these great things about Sikhism, I want to be very clear. Yeah. The reason why I don't buy into Sikhism, or I don't believe in Sikhism... Go ahead, tell me. ...is the following. One main reason. If you analyse the Sikh scriptures, the GGS, yeah. Bani, and you look at the content of that scripture, you will find that there is an immense similarity in the Sikh scripture with, first of all, the Quranic scripture and secondly, the Hindu scripture. And it would seem very clearly mm -hmm. that it's an amalgamation of those two traditions. And if you look at Guru Nanak's actual life experience, he clearly was influenced by people like Sheikh Farid, which was a Sufi mystic, and he was he, actually his parents came from a from a Hindu background, and he was influenced by that. I don't tradition. want to interrupt you, but go on. You make your point, and I'll come back. I'll just finish off the point. Now, the point is, if you said to me, like what we say to the Christians and Jews, that we believe that the Prophet Muhammad was a true prophet, but his book was corrupted somehow, then you would have had a uh, you know a coherent case. But if you're saying to me, and I'm not saying this obviously in a rude way, but if you're saying to me that it's just coincidental that it happens to be the case that all of what's in the Sikh scriptures is in fact what's in the Quran and the, and the Bhagavad Gita, I will say that's an amazing contradiction which cannot be believed in by a rational human being. That is to say that a person who's not a prophet has gotten so much of the truth true without being divinely inspired, then the guru comes afterwards and reaffirms this truth. Can you see why that would be? Who, who has got the truth without being divinely inspired? I don't so let me tell you what I mean. If you look at the GGS, yeah. correct me if I'm wrong, but you have the process of June. Let me ask you a question before you go, go ahead, on yes, further, because it's been a while. 
firstly, this misconception that you have that Sikhs are amalgamation of is Islam and Sikh Sikhism. You're not the only person. Many people have had this misconception. Yeah, that, that's, so, that's, that's proof. Point. That, you know, uh, lots of people have. I'm trying to just explain to you. Let yeah. me speak. Yeah? The, so, so many people have had that, yeah. and we don't buy it for this reason. Go on. The Guru is getting it from God. The Guru is saying, yeah, I'm getting, but the Guru is saying that you're getting it from God, right? But what's Not the me proof? saying, the Guru is saying. Okay, but okay, lots but of people have said that. Irrelevant to the proof, right? Let's just talk about the Guru is saying it's coming from God. So, therefore, the first point that anybody says that, well, actually it's an amalgamation, yeah. is effectively calling the Guru a liar. Okay. Right? So that's the end result, isn't it? We're not, we're not being intellectually dishonest here. Not necessarily. Anybody who says the can Guru... I tell you, can I tell you something? It's not necessarily true what you said, you know, you know that. What you've created is in logic called a false dichotomy. Either we have to call the Guru a liar, a liar or that we say that he well, no, we can say that he was a, a social reformer who had an agenda to try and create he peace. Said, he said he got it from God. No, no, in but his maybe, own words. But maybe it was. Look, it doesn't. I repeat you. He said, "Jaisi mein aave kasam ki bani." That's what I got. He could have said it, but he listen. He did say it. Uh, he could have written down here. Yeah. No, yeah, it's fine. He could have said it. Yeah. But you know, I'm not saying necessarily that he must have been a liar. He might have been a social reformer with good intentions, and he must have thought maybe there's a lesser of two evils here. The Let's lie. create a new. No, I mean, look. No, you're not addressing my point. My point number so, so one is he could have been lying. Yeah. He could have been. He could have been hallucinating. The point is, okay, he, there's lots of. Okay, there's, fine. So you could say he could be there's hallucinating. Lots of, there's lots of but, things. Okay, it could have fine. Been. So second, it's not a dichotomy. Second thing. point. Fair yeah. enough. Okay. Second, so do you mind if I make a okay, point? Before no, no, you, you can you, make you, it first. You made a big question, and, and I then, I, and then I, I wanted to add a little bit more. The thing to remember is, on the one side, it could be to the point where either Guru's hallucinating or he's lying. Okay, hallucinating, lying. Yeah. But he can't be true in what he said, right? The second thing. Yeah, yeah. That's my claim. Here's my view of why the Guru could be right. And the and there happens to be that the it's very similar to what's in the Quran, and Go ahead, yes, and please. the the reason why it's similar yeah. to Quran is similar to the Quran or Bhagavad Gita yeah. or even yeah. Buddhist texts or yes. Um, yes. even what's the Russian taught or why? anybody else, yeah. is because the truth is not exclusive to any one religion. Yeah. So therefore, okay. if somebody came today yes, yes. and gave us the ultimate truth about physics, yes, yes, yes. what you're going to find is yes, yes. that it's very similar to what Penrose said. Right. It could be similar to what somebody said a thousand years ago Fantastic. in China, Fantastic. but he doesn't have to have got it from those people. Thank you for he that could answer. just give the truth. Would you like me to just tell me, to, I'll tell you my problem with that answer. Yeah. Go ahead. My personal problem with your answers as follows. First of all, me and you have agreed on two things. Number one thing that we've agreed upon is that there is there are clear similarities between the GGS, Bani, and the Quran and the Bhagavad Gita. That's the first thing we did agree upon. And similarities would include things like Bab, which is something similar to what? Jannah. You know, you have June, yeah, 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 yeah. which is the process of reincarnation. Oh, beh Behishti you're talking about, like heaven. Oh, heaven. Is it Bab or Behishti? There's no word for Bab. Yeah. Behishti. Is Behishti, sorry. But that's the Islamic that's, word. Okay. So Behishti. here we have... Swarag is the normal Indian word. Okay. Sorry. Thank you for helping me no, out sorry, with that. No June. So this, June there's a whole bunch of language in Guru Granth Sahib. Sometimes cool. we use Islamic so, words, sometimes we use that's, I, I Indian do understand. words. And so we, we know both That's what, what I'm trying to get to. June is that process of reincarnation, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. God is Arjuni. Yeah, Arjuni, yeah. Yes? So he's outside of the process of reincarnation. Yeah. So this reincarnation, the question is, where did the Guru get the information for reincarnation? First question. Number two. From God. No, wait, hold on. Number two. It's, it can't be coincidental. Yeah. This is my point. You have to really think about what I'm saying here. Why can't it be present? Okay, well, this is why it's not. Let me tell you why it's probabilistically. Yeah. Prob from a you know. If two people do you know the probability truth, theory? If two people came up with the truth. Okay, can I tell you why? Yeah. It's just. Let me tell you why. If you study probability theory, it's a branch of mathematics and actually of logic as well. I don't need to study probability theory. No, but I'm just telling you, please, can we... Well, can, I understand can we, can we create, But you've got to make your you, point. If, but I am making my point. I have to make my point. Because you quickly go, go to the point. If I study this and then... Look, what? I'm just saying to you yeah. that if we're very clear about what we're saying, yeah? I'm saying that you don't believe that the Prophet Muhammad was divinely inspired, yeah? No, I didn't say that. Okay, so you, was, he, was he divinely inspired? What I'm saying is that he was sent with, the tr with some portion of the truth and then he got diverted from his aim. What, was he divided? What, God, did God send the words to him or not? Well, I would say that initially, probably, uh, he okay. was sent with certain amount of... So the Quran of, is uh, God's uh, words? So, well, the Guru Gobind mentions that uh, Prophet Muhammad was given the rule of Arabia, yeah. but then he went off into his own ego. And okay. it happens to a lot of people Fine. that they so, get raised up and then they go off. So do you believe yeah. that God sent Muhammad with the Quran or not? Uh, I wouldn't say that we believe the whole Quran is the truth, no. Okay, so... so I'm just trying to be more diplomatic, so, yeah, no, I don't no, offend no, anybody. No, no, you don't understand. No, 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 it's not about offending, no, I don't. Because, look, I, what I don't want, I want... Honesty is more important to I'm us... I'm being very honest with you, I just yeah, said the no, word. No, no. Honesty is more important to us yeah. than sugarcoating, yeah, giving so us a warm lie. We don't believe the truth... Uh, I'm sorry, not the Quran is the truth of God, is the word the of God. Fine. But, in that case... We do believe there's truth in the Quran. Okay, Which is very hard for some people to understand. Okay, so, 
if, if the Prophet Muhammad was not divinely inspired. No, I never said that. No, but that's what you said. Okay, so he you're said he was, but, he's but he, moved, he moved. He moved. I'm just trying to be clear. Okay, so about what I'm saying. I don't so want to put words in my mouth. Let me change, it. Let me change it up. If the Quran is not God's word, yeah, not 100 percent the truth. Yes. Okay. If the Quran, because God's word's got to be true, right? Fine. If it's not 100 percent right. the truth, then it's not God's so, word. So, if the Quran is not God's word, 100 percent no. Yeah, 100 percent. Some of it probably. Is. Some of it is, but if it's not God's word, yeah. And the Prophet Muhammad, yeah. therefore, he went into his own, as your words, his own ego. Yeah. Must have meant that he. He made his own words up. It wasn't God's yeah. word, right? So if that is the case, well, he, there was a point where he got uh, Satan inspired him, right? At one point, no, is that no, right? no, we don't believe that. Satanic verses. Where does it say that? In, well, give, I'm give just asking you. No, there's nothing. Is it, isn't that? Isn't that? Out. Yeah, but there, didn't he say himself that? It's in the hadith. Didn't he say himself that? Oh, that was actually from the Satan. It took, yeah. got taken out. Where, 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 give, give me the hadith then. Uh, well, I don't, which, I don't which, know. Which, know right now. Okay, well then. I don't claim to be an expert in Islam. No, no, fine. Then you shouldn't make an assertion without bringing evidence. It was a question. Like before, in the beginning, in the beginning, it was a question. No, okay, there is nothing. That never happened. happened. No, it didn't happen. So There's he never, he never, no, he never had a situation where. Oh, he, right. well, I'm saying to you, get the authentic, huh? get the authentic proof for that. I'll have to check. I'll have to look at it. Yeah. That's something you'd look into from a book like Salman Rushdie's book, The Satanic yeah. Verses. Yeah. No, but I don't think I'm ready. Yeah, no, I'm just, just saying it. that this well, is the kind enough, of. I'll find it. Okay. Yeah, fine. You can try and find it. But look, you have a major point. Why you said the, why you don't agree with it? No, no, you said why you don't agree with it. About my point about the fact that truth could be everywhere. So you said you've got you've got a solid argument against it, but you haven't given. No, no, no. I think I have given. I think people around you and the Sikhs have already listened to it. If he heard it, then he would know it. No, no. But let me tell you something. If it's true, did the full truth, point. did the full truth yeah. come completely at the time of the guru and before him there was no full truth? Well, I think the people before him had uh, the truth, but they didn't Not give the full it. Truth. They didn't give it. No, they, just, were, they weren't there. No, they, the yeah. the yeah. like, yeah, they didn't have the full okay, truth. Yeah. Okay, you agree with me, yeah? yeah? So please let's be honest and let's be straightforward. If that's the case, yeah. so you're telling me that 400 and whatever it is years ago, yeah. when Guru Nanak came onto the scene, yeah. and when he disseminated his message, which was the GGS, yeah, yeah. that was the point at which the full truth was delivered. Yeah. Our point is that. Well, that I made that point many times, though. Yeah. My point to you is that that is an incoherent understanding of human civilization. You're saying that, why? Because what we're saying is if God created human beings, yeah. and he created the universe, yeah. our narrative is as follows, that he, as soon as human being was on the earth, yeah. the full truth was delivered to that human being. Your narrative is well, no. Uh, the, the baby was born. No, the first human baby believe, had the full truth. We believe that Adam, the first human being, yeah. Yeah, well, we don't believe in Adam. But it doesn't anyway. matter. What, but we, we, that's our narrative. Yeah. Our narrative is that the first human being, Adam, had the full truth. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he was a prophet. Right. He had the full truth. Yeah, yeah. He disseminated that full truth to his constituency, and then that continued. Who on. are they? His kids. His, so his, his, his family members. That's correct. His kids. Yeah. And then the prophets came. Everybody afterwards. came from them. Pardon? Everybody came from his kids. From, from yeah, absolutely. That's correct. That's what we believe. That's in. what you believe in. That's okay. correct. That's what we believe in. I mean, it's hard to believe in it. And, and it's, it's hard for me to. It's hard for that. me to believe in reincarnation. Yeah, that yeah. I will die and become an ant. But, but no, the point is, what is physics? Okay, so let's it's talk just about like, well, you know, it's just physics for us. It's just physics. Like, well, I didn't say. But in the beginning of this conversation, no, 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 let me just make a point. You have a major point about why you don't. You said that the truth was at the beginning. The beginning of this conversation. No, no, it's interesting because it's on camera. Then what was the need for the Quran? It's on camera. What was the need for the Quran? Let me say something, please. Do you mind? No, but it's a simple question. You said the truth was at the very yeah. beginning, yes, which is why you can't accept okay, that the truth came later. But the question here is, yeah. how come yeah, yeah. when Adam came, he didn't come with the Quran then? Okay, what that's, the need for the Quran? okay can I tell you the answer to that question? Yeah, yeah, that's a good question actually. The answer to that question is as follows. We believe that each prophet was sent to their people and their time. Yeah? With the full truth. With the full truth. Okay. With the absolute truth. They should have given the Quran to everybody. Then. It was the equivalent. Look, I mean, what we had at that time for Adam or for, let's say, Prophet Moses or Prophet Jesus or Prophet Noah, yeah. he delivered exactly the same message as would be found in the Quran. The difference is this. We believe that the, the scriptures were corrupted because they were not they were not meant for the whole of humanity, right? And that's well, the full truth. Which is apparent. 100% the truth should be available to all humanity. Exactly. Yeah, that's so then, the Quran. Exactly, absolutely. Why wouldn't it come in the beginning? The it did come in the well, beginning. You said it was coming in the beginning, but, but it wasn't. It, it came to those people at that time. God never said in the old scriptures Indeed. that this scripture that I'm sending, I'll preserve it. So, the Quran is but the how only... come the Bible then seems the to go Quran. against the Quran? So no, because that, of, because of the, 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 the corruption. It's not preserved. Yeah, but, yeah, but remember one I thing. I think yeah? you know now. But no, but there's still one problem with your argument. Go ahead. A lot of the stuff in the Quran goes against Guru Granth Sahib Ji. So for us, it's wrong. Then what do we do is we go to the Scripture. The reincarnation is in there, so obviously it's not wrong. Go to the Scripture. Listen, listen. I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. But your whole can't be the 100% the truth. Your whole paradigm is as follows. You're standing in a box called Sikhism. Yeah. Inside, inside it. You're immersed 
with the idea that Sikhism is true. 100%. That's why in the beginning of this... You're, you're in the same box. Can I, please? I know I am, but let me tell you the difference between me and you. In the beginning of this conversation, you said there's no need for evidences. The Guru said it. No, no, I never said that. You said something to that effect. No, well, I didn't say those words. So I you said know. something to that effect. So in other words, we don't forget about the proof now, I you said. I said, no, I'm not trying to prove God to you is what I said. Okay, fine. Right? I'm not, I don't believe I'm in God. I'm saying that... Wait, can I, can, can I, I think the main thing is this, yeah? Is that if we look into... Already made I'm really sorry. Right. The thing is, because we're going back and forth, the main thing we do is very simple. We talk with the Christians as well. We go to the scriptures. We go to the Quran. We go to your religious scriptures. Okay, go ahead. If the scriptures, if we can prove that the Quran is from Allah, the matter of Tawheed, what you say, oh, is this right or wrong? We take it all. Like, for example, if I prove to you the Quran is from Allah, you, ha you can't pick and choose what you like. Whatever I showed you, and I say, for example, Tawheed is worshipping Allah in his powers and everything that he does. Singling out Allah in worship, his names and attributes. When we go to the scriptures, and if I prove to you, my scripture is correct, you can't say... Because Ali, and same with Ali, you, same Ali, with you. Yeah? Sorry, because I know your name. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. You can't, I don't know your name, what's your name? Uh, Jagraj. J How do you say your name? Jagraj, like jug, a jug and then the Raj. Jagraj, Jagraj. I like it, jug, I like jug. it. All right, so look. It's funny, man. I don't, I don't know, what's I, your I, name? I, Muhammad. Oh, nice yeah. to meet you, Muhammad. You too, Jagraj. Yeah, Jagraj. Yeah, yeah, jug, yeah, jug, yeah, jug, yeah, nice guy, man. Okay, look. The thing is, yeah, is... Sorry, man. Sorry. Now I'm not being funny. It's just because you're big. But let me just explain something to you, right? What comes out from talking to you... Yes, go ahead. ...is you were talking about how how come it came later and not at the beginning. But in a way, many Muslims are kind of making a very similar argument that, and, and it may be that you say, oh no, no, that's not true, but it's another way. But it's a very similar argument that the truth came with the Prophet Muhammad because everybody else was corrupted. No, 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 right? no, 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 no. But here, it's, but no, 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 no. listen, it's very similar to my argument. No, it's not. Because you said all the scriptures got corrupted, but they had okay. the truth. Can I tell you? We, hold on, because at the beginning of Guru Granth Sahib, because you seem to have read Ajuni, right? That's at the beginning, Ajuni. yeah? You might have heard the other word, Ada Sacha Juga, Ada Sacha Happy, Sacha Nana Kosi, Pi Sacha. Sacha means truth, which is at the beginning, such. at and the beginning of time, God is such. God is such. Yeah. And then Sikhi is such. And that's from the time, by the way. Sikhi is such as well, at the beginning of time. And then at the at time, when time started, then Sikhi was also true. And then now it's true, and forever it will be true. Okay, but so you're a Sikh believes. No, no. A what Sikh believes that I, the Sikh view was true from the beginning. Can I, can I, can I Only thing is, some people did have access to that truth. Yeah. Uh, for example, I'll give you an example of a guy that found the truth. Yeah. His name was Mansur. Mansur was a Sufi. Yeah? Unfortunately for Mansur, he stood up one day, opened up his jacket and he goes, An al -haq. And he blew himself up. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, he opened his jacket and he goes, I am one with the truth. I am the truth. Yeah. He didn't get blown up. He got killed in a very terrible way by the okay. Islamic uh, terrorists at that time. They killed him. Okay. They chopped him into pieces yeah. for saying that he is the truth. So you're saying I'm one with God now. Okay, but are you, are you so this way has been around in every yeah. way. Okay, so it's yeah. not that we're saying that we're the only ones that found it. Okay, we're just saying let that the Ali, Guru gave it you. in no, a perfect are, way. Are you, are you saying why did the, the truth, if it was there from the beginning, yeah. why did it come like uh, 1600 years ago? As the Quran, is that what you're saying? Because I said that earlier, you said, okay, you okay. said scriptures got corrupted. Okay, can I tell you I why? I said prophets got corrupted. Okay, yeah, let me tell you why. We, we, okay, yeah. the, the truth that we believe in Islam. Yeah, Islam yeah, has been there from day one. Not That's we, what we, you believe in. No, not what we what believe. We don't agree no, 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 no. Okay, you don't believe. I'm telling you why. Yeah, I never tell you to believe that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what I'm trying to say is Islam has been there from day one. That's why when we say Jesus was a Muslim, the Christians get confused. They're like, what do you mean he was a Muslim? You're not understanding you understand what I mean. Yeah, yeah. The one who submits his will to God is a Muslim because Jesus says, I do not say... He says, I don't say nothing for myself. Because Jesus says in the scripture, I don't, I, don't, from God, yeah, I, I don't say nothing for no, myself. As I hear, so Jesus was a Muslim. So what we say is, God Almighty existed. He sent down prophets. Yes? Yeah. yes. And with some of the prophets and messengers, he gave them scriptures. Right. Those scriptures were not were meant for those people at All that time. time. All right. So what happened is, once a scripture came, it would prophesy. That's not nice. The cameras were gone. Have some decency. Learn from the brother at some manners. Yeah? I'm watching you carefully. Anyway, sorry. So what I'm trying to... I'm so sorry, forgive me. Yeah? So the prophet comes, the messenger comes with the scripture. Yeah, yeah. In the one that was a perfect message everybody at all times came. For those specific Muhammad. times, because if God Almighty finished uh, in his plan, there was other prophets that were going to yeah, come. Yeah, other messengers were going to come. Yeah. So for example, with the Old Testament, the Old Testament was given yeah. to uh, Moses with the Ten Commandments, etc. Right, right, and it was prophesied of another prophet that will come. Not okay. only Jesus, but Muhammad as well. Right. So what happened? I'm so sorry, I'm trying to I, I know all your, yeah. I've watched okay, a lot okay, of your okay, videos, okay, bro. Okay, okay, so that's the nice way I know where you're going. I'm so sorry. Okay, yeah. forgive me, but allow me to say okay, it, no, fair, Maybe no, you've no. seen it, but other people haven't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So 
when uh, those scriptures came down, it wasn't meant to be preserved. Okay. He talked about another prophet that will come. Jesus came, the ones who follow the scriptures correctly said, this is the one that was prophesied. We Can follow him. Say. Then, oh, then you had know. people who followed Jesus. And yeah. Jesus says, I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. Okay. So he went this place, that, la, la, la. Yeah. Okay, then it talked about the prophet Muhammad. Yeah. The Quran is the only scripture where God Almighty said the final messengers come, we have the Old Testament, the yeah. New Testament, and the Final Testament. Okay. So the Quran is the seal that says, Everything that obviously Ali, you know that I don't agree with you. No, I know. So yeah, that's yeah, why I'm saying that's why I'm saying yeah. because you're arguing back and forth. Let's go to your scriptures and my scriptures. If my if your scripture is true, I'm ready to accept and follow you. No problem. I am ready to do it right now. If my scriptures is true and I have evidence based on that, you can't pick and choose, you have yeah, to follow. No, 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 no. No, Ali, look, here's the thing. Yeah? And do you know what? There's a beautiful thing I read in the GGS, yeah? yeah, yeah the, Can I tell you? And you tell me the tell me the the actual in the native tongue how you would actually say it, yeah? He said that the truth is more, uh, the guru, the truth is more beloved to me than religion or something yes. to that extent. No, that was a made up quote. Somebody oh, just put that good, in there. No, I think some, uh, so, so uh, a lot of people make up quotes and they stick, it's a nice meme, you know, stick oh, it up right. online. It's, 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 it's not the real one. So, it's not real one. <laughs> Mar what, 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 there, is a quote, <laughs> there is a quote in Guru Granth that says that the, the highest thing of all is truth, yeah. but higher than truth is truth for living, living by the truth. Yeah, yeah. That's higher than just believing the truth. Okay, but okay. okay. So, hey, hey, Ali, Ali, the, Ali the, the reason why this argument, again, like what you said earlier, is going to go nowhere, is that even if I, sh you can see Guru Granth Sahib online, I don't have to show it to you. So you can read it yourself. Guru Granth Sahib is already oh, online. Okay, Our Guru is already available online. You can read the scripture. Yeah. Yeah. And if it appeals to you, great. If it doesn't appeal to you, I'm not here to stuff it down your throat. And and you know, can I say Allah says in the Quran, there is no compulsion of religion, but I have to convey the message to you. True, yeah. So on the day of judgment, you don't say, Ali, you came by it, you talk Ali, about it. I've read, I've read the Quran, yeah. Yeah, and I've also heard a lot of speeches by Muslim scholars. Yes. And the thing is, is for me, yeah. it doesn't fulfill the requirements of truth. But who gives you it's, the criteria? Uh, the truth. My guru gives me the criteria. The guru. Yes. Okay, but how do you know the guru? Okay, so that's, the I just said earlier. That's a circular argument. But, but, yeah, but that was what I was talking yeah. to. Okay. Uh, all that but, time but, with uh, our but, man uh, but, Hamza. Okay. Is that the, uh, okay. the reason I believe in yeah. that truth is because yeah. of all the things that I've experienced okay. and still yet to experience from the guru. Okay, but what I'm trying to say is, look, I believe. I let me tell you why I chose Islam. Yeah, I'm a revert to Islam. It's been three and a half, four years. Why I chose Islam is because I believe if there is a creator, if the creator has set down a scripture, this scripture should not be altered with. It should not be changed. Guru Granth Sahib did not be in order okay, to change. Okay, okay, so th this is good. So I believe the same with the Quran. So we need to put our scriptures to the test. Yeah? One of the Quran has been ordered and changed. No, no, okay, then, okay, if you believe Allah says in the Quran, if this book was not other than from your Lord, you will find many discrepancies and contradictions in it. I challenge you to find me a single contradiction, a single error okay. in the Quran that right. has been changed. It's a nice challenge. The Quran, it's, but I, here, here, let, let me just. Let me finish the point. Okay. Come on, come on, please. I'm going to listen to you as well, yeah? Because let's, let's listen to the brothers as well, yeah? Okay, yeah. the second point is Allah says in the Quran in, um, that He challenges the disbelievers and says, bring yeah. a chapter like it. Like, if you think this one from right. God Almighty, good. Okay. It's like me coming and saying, I'm, I will knock out right. anyone here. So, and if I go, if you say to me, Ali, that guy, boom, I knock him out. I'm going to say, so, chapter, so, so, then bring it, bring it, bring, 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 bring right, it, and we'll bring talk it. about right. it. Okay. And not only that, yeah, yeah. it has I'll historical meaning. The thing is, yeah, Ali, yeah. is that there are people out there that have actually come up with a, there's actually a website called, show me, come there's a website, isn't it, about that. There's a website dedicated to, show me a chap, show me a verse like it, I think, dot com. Okay, yeah, And it's actually a whole website dedicated to showing verses like the Quran. But the thing is, is, who is going to be the guy that decides that, oh, no, this verse has been the the no, test no, no. and therefore it's one Jagraj, can I just there's criteria oh, to who's it. going to be the guy no, no, no. there's criteria to it but you, you, you didn't let me going to believe but you didn't let me finish yeah. non -Muslim you, you didn't, Ali, okay, if we, we found you a verse like that would you leave Islam yes but who's I'm telling you because 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 Allah says look in the Quran speak look speak the truth even if it's against yourself if you bring me evidence if I'm truthful and I'm looking for the truth I'm on camera I will leave Islam Okay. This is how certain I am. All right. So I'm saying bring it. Okay, Ali, I'm ready what, to join what you. What would happen one day? I ask you, one day, yeah. we're, we're living in uh, uh, Pakistan. The yes. whole village is Muslim. Yeah. And everybody in the Mus in the village yeah. at night yeah. has a realization of who they were in their past life. Just have a theory. Yeah? It's a theoretical argument. Okay, right. where everybody suddenly <laughs> realized who they were in their past life. Okay. Right? And they all remember. Oh, hold on. Okay, sorry, sorry. Let's just imagine they had happened, right? Yeah. So at that moment, yeah. effectively, they'd have yeah. to leave Islam. 
according to what the so let's say they now believe that was true that's right? the circular argument let's, but let's it, say they decided yeah, it's true Jack they don't believe it's not right? Right? Yeah. but what I'm trying to say is that you see many people in this world have actually experienced their past life right? okay Jack Raj this but, is just, this was in a dream. yeah they have yeah. how do you know it was in a dream that he told you're a clever man please Jack Raj Jack Raj the thing is you know there's also confirmation bias a very dark man the confirmation bias exists as well yeah that somebody who's not going to believe something doesn't matter what happens to him he's never going to believe it no, no, but reincarnation. A lot of people you're missing, you're missing believe in reincarnation. No, so we're what? not talking about reincarnation. We're talking about your scripture so, and my scripture. So Why would you not believe? No, no, no. There's a lot of evidence for no, it. No, no, we're going to. But your you're probably and never going to read it and then no, say, you're going to say, oh, we dismiss it. You're always going to dismiss it. Can I tell you the difference between our argument and your argument? Just in one sentence, yeah? Go on then. One sentence. The main difference is that we aim to offer proofs and evidences, whereas you're saying just believe and that's that. No, 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 no. I never said that. I never said proofs and you're sitting here watching right now can agree that I never. Say okay. just believe. What's your proof? No. I've always said, said it's the experience. No, I said it's experience. Yeah, but that's is what subjective. drives the beliefs. It's, it's, not, yeah. it's not subjective. I said subjective. to you earlier the whole argument. One, with one question, Hamza. That is subjective only when you're individual. Yes, of course, but when you can take it generalized, religious experience then it becomes subjective. subjective. Okay, okay. Color is, a, color is subjective. What, what's, yeah. what's your evidence that your scriptures are true? I've given you my criteria: historical miracles, linguistic miracles. The challenge in the Quran for you: find a mistake in it. Then convince me, Ali. Of course he wouldn't. I'm saying he might convince me. So it's not a proof. He might convince the one that's watching it. Well, it may. It might. I come, might not. Well, I might come, I come and speak to argument. Christians here. They never get convinced for three and a half years. My yeah. point is, for the so therefore, is it a good argument? So I'm telling you, what is the well, criteria here's the question. for you? If you spent what? three and a half years what? making what? arguments, what's your criteria? Not everybody bought it. That's why people could, could don't want to speak. Could you be wrong? Let him speak. Let him speak. Could you be wrong? Could I be wrong? Could the, could no, I, I don't believe. It didn't work. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Words, I'm asking you, what is your evidence to your scripture being from God? I've given you my foundation. I'm seeing challenge the historical miracle, the linguistic okay. miracle, the All challenge right. that the Quran has been okay. changed, and that uh, bring a chapter right. like it. Okay, fine. I'll give you my argument. Yeah. Whether you like it or not, this is my, of course my I challenge it. I to you. I respect it. Right? There's no compulsion. No, it's religion. not even a challenge. But let yeah. me ask you. Can we make if, a circle big? I'm like, if I met someone please, please. who was really so fit at running, yeah? But there was a hundred coaches, right? I've trained these hundred people for five years, yeah? Okay. Then one guy comes along yeah. and trains one guy, right, for one more year. Okay. And that guy becomes faster than everybody else in that whole group. Okay. So the group turns to that one guy and says, how did you become so fast? He goes, because of that guy, the trainer. Yeah. Okay. Right. So then what is what will make those people, the hundred people, being logical, wanting to win, yeah. see that guy got ahead. Yeah. They might say, you know what, I want to go and try what that guy is training. Okay. Let me try it. Okay. Let me try the training. Yes. They become faster. Okay. Right? Yeah. Now, they all believe in this guy now. Believe, also, in, believe, believe in him well, for, good. for, they for the fact that they, that they made him faster and they yes. got the better training. Yes. So now, so they have reason to believe now they have a reason, okay. which is what I've been saying to you from the very beginning. Okay. The reason for us believing in our Guru yeah. is because not does he only give the most sublime truth with the best... That's subjective. But That's subjective. when he tells us to follow it subjective. and it works, we experience God in the way that he's describing okay. and it's so mind-blowing. Okay. You know, it's subjective. Okay. subjective. Can I say, no, let it it's only subjective. Can I comment? Can I comment? No, please, one second. I've oh, got to go. Yeah. Listen, can listen, I, it's, it's 30 okay, seconds okay, left. Okay, okay, okay. Go. So I'll leave yeah. it to you. You say what you like, yeah. I'm not going to say anything back. 30 uh, seconds. Sorry, what was your last sentence? Sorry. It says that uh, that's the okay, that's experience. Okay. You're, you're telling me from Guru, did you ever hear me, like, for example, that I gave you the Quran, the scripture. I can yeah. come to the Prophet in his life. That's another evidence. I came to you from the scripture. The Guru not, is a scripture. Not, not one second. Okay. No, no, are you telling me? Side, Jesus, Guru, Guru, no, okay, if he's the scripture, okay, yeah, for example, I, 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 you need to bring me evidence. Because you're telling me, because he, if I'm not mistaken, he came and he made more and uh, the truth seems more with him yeah. that's why I'm telling you look the Christians come and say to me you know there's a Christian who came to me and he goes Jesus paid for my ticket to go holiday I'm looking at him and I'm like are you okay he, he truly believes in it but it's subjective wrong either. it's subjective if I said to you I accepted it's Islam subjective. if I said I accepted Islam because it changed my life it's subjective I'm yeah. going to the scripture because you will come and say to me look Guru changed my life. I'll say the prophet changed I, my life. Yeah, the that's right. The Christian right. will say I'm Jesus sure changed my life. I'm sure watching right. and agree that I've okay. actually made this point a few okay, okay. times now. No, okay, you okay. Just okay. Are you, are you have to go. No, the brother no. has to go. We don't want to hold him. Was, are you I'm here next week? Again. Are you here next week, brother? Probably not. Okay, when are you going to be here? I, I really come. It's the fourth time I've come. Okay, okay, my last one. Okay, okay, okay. My, my I have to be honest. Only okay, once okay. every two no, no, months. No, no, it was a pleasure. Once every three months. No, no, it was a pleasure. Like the brother said, your man is like we really yeah. admire because that of is nice talking but, to you. But, but, well. but the challenge, like I said there, those I, I want someone to meet that and I'm ready to join you. I want to have a bit of advice. You know, yeah. a bit too tactile. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, thanks, thanks, thanks for coming. Thank, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Cameraman, I've seen you, your shoulders. <laughs>